Hey everyone, I have some yellow dot accessories that are going to be part of the extra half off this clearance event that is beginning tomorrow, October 4th, and it is going to run through October 10th. So if you are interested in seeing some yellow dot items and maybe hearing about a story time, then this is for you. Let's get started. All right, guys. So first off, we're going to have bags. There is quite a few different kind, but you got to be careful because some are blue dot. So you are looking for the yellow dot on the tag on these guys. Before we get any further, would you mind please checking to see if you are subscribed? I think YouTube has been unsubscribing people lately, maybe unchecking your bells. So do me a favor, make sure everything is set to all notifications so that you never miss an upload by me. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, y'all, so this is what we're looking for. You're gonna try to find your accessories area if you have one. There's gonna be blue dot mixed in there with yellow, so it's gonna be important to go through and make sure that you have a yellow dot item and that's not blue because sometimes it can be one of each. You can have one blue one and one yellow dot and it's the same item and you're just like, what the heck? So trust me, look at those tags. And I noticed these um, sun hats were just crammed up in a corner like shelf above some underwear. So you really never know where you're going to find these yellow dot accessories. These are the little like fishing hats. They call them boonie hats. Um, they come in a couple different colors. I believe they come in camo as well. There's your UPC for that. Those are yellow dot. We've got more ball caps. These are like, they say mama, like blessed mama and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Pet mom, dog mom. Um, and these are all yellow dot. So make sure you scan them just to confirm that they are included because as we all know, Dollar General loves to have exclusions. So no one wants to go to the register and be surprised. You know, we would rather know before we go to the register if something is attaching or not. So that is my biggest piece of advice to you is use that app to scan, y'all. There are also little like jewelry sets. There's rings, earrings. Um, they have hair clips, necklaces, those little like choker necklaces. Uh, they have quite a few things right now, actually. So if you see any of these things, just make sure you scan, like I said before, because as always, there's always exclusions and you just never know if it's going to be excluded until you scan. Um, don't forget about the little hair coils too. These are like unicorns um, and those are going to have the little hangy tags on them as well. They've got little pens. Now, this might be excluded because occasionally these yellow dot items are their own little category. So I just included it maybe for you to check out because it is a yellow dot accessory, but it could also be excluded. But we do have some yellow dot journals and I've noticed those all around the store. I saw those up on a sky shelf, could not reach them. So I just left them up. But we do have a lot of duffel bags and nice little backpacks and cute bags. We've got little train cases for makeup. Like these things would be super cute to put away for Christmas. And they're going to be dirt cheap during this clearance event. So you don't want to miss out. I also love these My Little Pony gigantic pencils. They are also yellow dot. So those are really cute. I hope that they are going to be included. There's these little black go sacks. I got a few last year when they went to a penny. Um, I believe they're like to put, I don't know, your camera. They're supposed to be like fanny packs. You can like wear them sideways. I don't know. And here's a little sling black, a sling blag, a sling bag, like a sling blade. Mm -hmm. And then we got a black Aztec print purse. Now, last year, y'all, I got so much from this very store. They had all these things still in plastic on top of the sky shelves. So they had all those purses and they didn't even put them out. They were just all in bags and plastic from the factory. So <laughs> this year they're actually put out, which is kind of disappointing because, you know, I bet they're not going to miss them this year and they're going to pull them when it's time to pull them. So that's, that's kind of sad, but whatever. 
Here's a cute little um, charm bracelet. And these are going to be part of the clothing, shoes, and accessories, yellow dot clearance items. There's also these cute little bracelet making kits with beads. And these are yellow dot. And this is one of my favorite things, is these little Hershey's pens. They're little Hershey Kisses pens, and they are different colors. And they are yellow dot as well. And they've got the wallets, just like they've got, you know, the blue dot wallets. It's kind of the same situation, you know what I mean? It's the same stuff, just a different color dot right now. The pink backpacks are super cute. I got some of those last year. I like them a lot. Um, what else did we get? Oh yeah, look at these slippers and keep an eye out for them. They are on clearance and they are just core clearance. Like these, this is going to be a POG clearance item. And right now they are $5.40, so they should be an additional half off come Friday. Um, but it is not a dot, you know, slipper or footwear. So I'm thinking these might be included because these are POG. This is the pink slipper that is currently on clearance right now. Just praying for that extra half off because these are $6.30 something. Also found this um, four pack of True Living towels on clearance for $6.30. Not sure if it is going to be extra 50% off. I am hoping so we will check that again tomorrow. So while I was scanning some unmarked stuff in my store, I came upon some curtains on clearance. So we've got these Comfort Bay decorative window curtains. These are the Olivia and they are on sale. There's your UPC so you can check if these are in a store near you. These are $12.35 currently on clearance so an extra half off will be about six dollars and some change. So got some like um, dark brown blackout curtains but when you scan the UPC, it brings up a weird, like, name, and it's not the Teddy that we just saw. But it comes up for $14.85, which means it's on clearance, so it should be half off of that during the clearance event. Alright y'all, so here is story time. So here is pretty much how most of my NCI picture frame and pictures look. It's all torn up. Um, most of them are stacked horizontally on top of each other, not even like vertical and displayed like they should be. However, I took the time and I straightened and I stood them up and I made it look better than before I was there. Just a word of, you know, advice is to just clean and straighten as you go. And then when you check out, you probably won't run into them telling you, oh, I can't sell you this. It's a penny. Because I went and I checked out with all the pictures and the worker was like, oh my gosh, you worked hard for those pennies. I saw you straightening everything. And I was like, oh, well, thank you so much. And she was happy for me. She was happy that I got pennies. It was outrageous. It's just like, I don't know, a difference in attitude is sometimes all you need. Other times, I'm going to share this story time with y'all. I went to a store that I penny shop at constantly. I'm always out there, right? Well, Whenever this sectional reset occurred and I got those decorative mugs, the girl said, oh, we can't sell these to you. They're a penny. And I looked at her and I'm like, since when? Because I've been shopping here for years. And that's when she was like, oh. And she was like, well, let me ask my manager. Called her manager over and her manager's like, yeah, if she finds it on the floor and she brings it up to the register, you sell it to, it, to her for a penny. Period. That's our policy. And the girl was acting confused, and I'm sitting here confused as all of them. Because I've been shopping with this same cashier for years. She has known me as a penny shopper for years. And she was acting brand new the other day. So I think it might be due to like an influx in penny shoppers. So if you are denied, and you ask for the store manager, and if they deny you also... Go to the front of the store, check the door. There should be a phone number for the district manager of your store. You will be able to take a picture of that and call her, okay? 
Normally, once you contact the DM, you explain the situation, they will tell you to go back and get your penny items. They just need to call the store. So, it's always better to remain kind because, you know, you catch more flies with honey than you do vinegar. I mean, I don't know why you want to catch flies at all, but th that's a saying, I guess. But you also catch more flies with doo-doo, wouldn't you? I mean, I don't know. Let's just leave those sayings out of it. Just be nice. And just, you know, try to be kind to people around you and understand they, you know, they're just doing their job too. So, if they refuse your penny items, just politely put them back on the shelf. And then I would probably take a picture of my cart first before I put them back. Just so I know everything I had. And I would grab that DM's number off the door and give them a call. I mean, that's really all you have to do. And then they should hold up to their side of the petty policy. All right, y'all, that is all for now. I hope y'all have a fantastic day and I wish you all the best for clearance shopping tomorrow. Bye guys.